Brian McKnight here. There's been a lot of discussion online lately about how I talk about my family on social media. Typically, I prefer not to give attention to the internet trolls, but now my family is being harassed online and accosted in public, apparently because some people can't handle seeing my happily ever after. Coming after me is one thing, but the moment you come after my wife and our children, it's another story because even more important to me than defending my name is defending and protecting them. I want to address some of these recent discussions. There is a very simple reason why I post about some of my children on social media and not others. The children that I do not currently have relationships with, I don't post about them. Instead, I post about the children with whom I do have relationships with whom I am proud of, and about whom I want to share my pride in their accomplishments. I don't live in the past. I live in the present and the future. I am so proud of the man I am today, the husband I am to my wife, Leilani, and the father I am to our children. I'm so proud of our love, our family, our life. So I will, without apology, continue to shout about it as loud as I can. If you can't help or handle seeing happiness and love, then I respectfully ask you, why are you even on my page? Maybe you should ask yourself that too. Another thing a lot of people have been talking about is the lawsuit my adult daughter Brianna brought against me a few years ago. There's been a lot of misinformation about the case and a lot of people who don't know what happened acting like they do. I think it is important to clear up some of that misinformation. In 2020, my biological daughter, Brianna, sued me for defamation and breach of contract. I posted a page from the lawsuit here and the file number down below so you can look this up for yourself. And you will see that she did not ask for an apology or even ask that I remove the alleged false statement from the internet. All she asked for and all she wanted was money. The case was dismissed before there was any decision whether my statement about her was defamatory. We settled the case earlier this year and I agreed to pay Brianna some money, but here's the interesting part. She sued me for defamation and breach of a million dollar life insurance policy. And I agreed to pay her $318,000 with no admission of any wrongdoing whatsoever. You heard that right. She dismissed a million dollar case in exchange for payment of $318,000 with no admission that I did anything wrong and no requirement that I retract my statement or remove it from the internet. If someone said that I did something I didn't do and I want a case proving that I didn't, I demand a public apology. I demand an acknowledgement of wrongdoing and I demand a retraction of statements. The face value of that life insurance policy was $300,000 with $18,000 worth of interest. I did not defame her. I made no false statements. I made up no stories. You can do what you will with that information in deciding who you think won the case. I know that some people on the internet would rather not know the truth about what happened, but for those of you with an open mind who are more interested in facts than rumors, I hope this helps explain what really happened in that case. Finally, I want to address the abandonment issue for the last time. Those kids and I have had a long history of conflicts, mutual estrangements, and resolutions. But there was a time when we were truly a successfully blended family. Julia, Jack, BJ, Nico, and Brianna. Our home was filled with love and acceptance, so much so that the kids were all calling each other siblings contrary to the picture that's been painted online. Christmases, birthdays, Thanksgivings, Friendsgivings, all spent together, even standing up for me as my best man in our wedding, along with their brother Jack, which I posted a pic of here. Shortly thereafter, the same conflict over money arose again. We parted ways, and the next thing I knew, there were two posts from Brian and Brianna in 2019 telling the world a completely different narrative for the reason why. I never abandoned anyone. Our estrangement was mutual, but those posts, 
made any roads towards reconciliation and acknowledging them a dead issue. And I changed my will the next day. I've spent the last 30 plus years building a recognized, respectable name. And ironically, there are still people out there who are trying to smear my name while still carrying it, hoping to use it for their own benefit. I make absolutely no apologies for naming my infant son, Brian. I want him and the world to know that he is the one who is my true legacy. So I'll be over here continuing to love and protect my wife and our children as we continue to love our life.